Hi everybody, I came across an unusual problem the other day that I thought we might try and solve, and that is how can you count how many types of a particular building are on, or structure or anything, are on a map on day Z? Hmm, so how would you do that? So for example, if you wanted to count the total number of churches that are on the map, or the total number of military tents that are on the map, how would you do it? So we could come over here, this is... Um, the eyes of eye map and i'll put a link in the description below this video if you haven't seen it already and if you're familiar with it you know you know you can filter for certain things so i filtered for tents and churches um, and then we could zoom in and we could go along and if you click on a particular icon it'll tell you what that is so you could say okay so that's a land mill tent big one and you could go square by square kind of going across and looking at it you could probably do that for the military tents but the churches are a bit different because for example the churches they're really difficult to see and there's a couple of different types you get a white church you get the yellow church and you get the little chapels so you could do it that way but it's not that practical the other thing if you go to the daisy wiki as well there's lots of information for example about churches and about small churches and about military tents and all the other things really good resource however one of the ways that you could do it is using the server file so if you own daisy on pc oops, stop if you own daisy on pc and then you go to your library and make sure you've got games and tools open and you go to Daisy Server, you should see, but you'll be able to install it. Now, don't get too excited. It's not as simple as installing it, and then you can play Daisy on your local PC. There's a little bit more to it, but I tell you what, in the description below this video, I'll also put a link to my how to install a local server video. So if you fancy doing that, you can. And what that means is instead of playing on a remote server yourself, you can play on your own server, on your own PC, so nobody else can come along and kill you and stuff. But anyway... You install it, and then you can do, say, properties, installed files, browse, and that will then take you to where the server is. And generally, it will be in C, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common. And you see there we've got Daisy server. And within Daisy server, if you scroll down, you won't have all these mods and stuff, but you'll see the MP missions, multiplayer missions. And you'll see Chernerus for Chernerus, that's all the Chernerus files, Enoch, which is Livonia, and Sakal is Sakal. So if we go in here, and then we go into the map group pos file, and we edit this, um, I'm using Notepad++, again I'll put a link to this in the description below this video. Um, and what, the, what map group pos is, it's a list of all the structures and things on a server, on a map that will spawn loot in general okay so this is the instructions that the um, the server needs to know where for example a land mish feed shack is and what the angle it is at so it then goes all right there's one of those here i need to spawn the the, the relevant loot so a better example would be something like if we scroll down here we go so there you go so look at that one so land house 2wo2 whatever that is there's one of these at this location at these coordinates at this your pitch and roll and so therefore spawn the relevant loot there so it's a really important file but what this means is we can use it to count things as well so if we go back to for example the churches on i survive and we scroll in um let's see if we can find it so if we scroll around so we look at that one and these are the, the these are the names that the server uses to know what these are so we know that's got a church one yellow um and then let's scroll around again see if we can find something else uh here we go where's another right here we go so there's that one so this is going to be so that's a chapel so we know that's just called chapel and then what else? All right, there's another church there. So that's the white church. So that's called Church 2-2. So if we just wanted to find the churches, we're probably we're probably all good to go if we just search for church. So if we go near the top of the file and do Control F and search for church and go find all in current document, dunk, that will then tell us. So if we look at the bottom, you can see it's found all the churches. Land Church 2, 
and they're all there and it says it's found 21 of them now that might not be completely definitive because if you look at the wiki for churches it says that some of them some of these ones for example there's a church in Grishno that does not spawn loot interesting so if it doesn't spawn loot that might mean that it's not actually included in the map group pods because in order to spawn loot it should really be in here so that's that's one and we guess and what we could also do is you could look for control f chapel uh, oh, find all in current document and so it says there's 15 chapels so that's quite good isn't it um if we were interested in millie tents for example we could go back to i survive and go somewhere you know where there's some millie tents here we go see what they're called so there's one so they're called land mill tent big land mill tent big land mill so if we do a search for um mill underscore tent we're probably going to catch them all so let's close this down so we go to the top control f um, land and what was it no sorry it's mill underscore tent wasn't it find all in current document there you go so there's 95 and it's worth scrolling down because just to make sure they are all what you think they are so there should be probably 95 military tents of different types you could be specific and say land mill tent big two underscore five that would show you that so there you go there's a way of figuring out what uh, how many of a particular structure is on a particular map by looking at the server files now there's loads of cool stuff in the server files <laughs> uh, that you can mess around with and they're worth looking at because one of the things i would say is that if you're thinking about doing any modding and um, what we're talking about here is xml and json modding so you're where you're messing around basically with the loot table it's very easy it's very easy to read so is it sorry is it very easy it's complicated to get started but once you get your head around it it's not it's not difficult um, it just takes time and by looking at those files you can kind of you can kind of see that if you do mess around with the files the server files and you do mess them up what you can do is if you go let's just shut that down if you go daisy server right click properties install files and verify integrity of tool files if you've messed anything up by changing something in notepad or, or your text editor and saving it if you do verify integrity that will then sort those files out um, and download um, the correct ones or if it's been updated as well that that will do that as well okay so hopefully this video has been useful if it has been hit like if you want to see more of the same process subscribe if you've got any other questions please put them in the sec comment section below the description and i'll see you all again soon thank you